it's T X Stampin' Sharon. I am live on Thursday, February the 17th, and I'm just making sure that everyone can hear me and can see me. I have a lot of you that have joined me in the chat prior to um, me going live, and I just love that. There are people here from all over the world, and I just... I, it just makes my heart happy to know that I have Stampin' Friends everywhere. And so do you. You are invited to join us before um, the chat or before I go live. And all you need to do in the chat box is to be able to have a Gmail account so that you can log into YouTube. If you do not have a Gmail account, it won't let you. I get comments like that all the time. How come I can't talk to you? So... Hello there, Carrie B. Hi, Rhonda Hunter, you're here. Okay, I, I think y'all can hear me or you would have said something by now. Um, hello, Kay Strom, nice to see you, my friend. Um, I have Michelle Batson with me tonight. She is my buddy who helps me uh, during my labs uh, with comments and uh, maybe any questions like how to find something, where's my website, where's my blog, things like that. Um, if you have a question and you don't get an answer, you could type the at sign and start typing Michelle Batson's name, and then she'll be able to see your comment. If it's something that she can't answer, she'll hold for me towards the end, um, because as I get to stamping, I can't, I can't multitask. <laughs> you do not want me to multitask because the card will not look like it's supposed to. So anyway, um, well, thank you, Becky White, for sharing the video. Yeah, share the video with your stamping friends. Uh, this is a fun fold that we're doing tonight. I love fun folds. That is right up there with techniques. I love doing techniques. Um, I was preparing for my technique class in March. It will be March the 3rd, so mark your calendar. Um, it is... it. It is a fun technique tonight that we're doing, a fun technique. See, I love them both. It is a fun fold. And um, if you are new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. I invite you to subscribe below the video. And then while you're down there, ring that little bell. You'll be notified every time I go live on YouTube or if I upload a video. So, um, okay, I am seeing quite a few joining us. Thank you, Mary Yates. I appreciate that. Um, Andrew, uh, Andrea Simpson said, I think you just need an account. Um, not really Gmail. You're right. You just need to sign up for a Google. It's a Google email, which allows you to log into YouTube. So you don't really have to use Gmail if you don't want to. You just need that address. That's all. That's all YouTube wants. Google owns YouTube. Get it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Hello, Terry from Tennessee. Hi, Brooke. Good to see you. Oh, I'm seeing lots of you join. Hello, Diane Lockwood. How are you? Hello, Roxana. Hi, Janice Turk. Good to see you. Um, I think we have quite a few that are joining us, and I am just thrilled at that. I like to do a little bit of chit-chat at the beginning so that everyone um, will be notified and can join us during the live. Um, if you're watching the replay, I would love to hear your comments. We read all the comments and we answer them. Um, it's a great place to ask a question. Uh, it's a great place to say if you love this fun fold. Um, it is an easel fold card. Um, there are so many fun folds. I really think after I finish my technique series that I do every month, I'm going to do a fun fold series. Let's just keep all of this stuff in a handy reference book. Um, I think you guys are loving that idea. So there you go. Um, so Stella says that it looks, she likes my shirt. It looks like an Arizona shirt. Um, it is. Can you see the cactus? I did buy this in Arizona when I lived there. I love this shirt. It's just a pretty color and I do love it. So thank you. Uh, Joanne loves easel cards. So, okay. All right. Um, we are going to switch over to our other camera. And there we go. Let's do this. You can still see me, my little picture in picture. Um, Diane likes the idea of a fun fold series. Awesome. Okay. Very good then. I am using flowering tulips tonight. This is one of the new ones that is in the uh, mini catalog. 
and I love it. Uh, it has got a lot of fun stamps. Anytime there are images and greetings, it gives you so many options to create many beautiful cards and projects. Um, Lynn Kaufman says, I can't believe my order is on its way. That's awesome, Lynn. Becky White loves this set. So here are all the dies. And I, I was especially drawn to this one. And I know you don't see it on my card, huh? But you will. You will. The other um, item that I am using are the layered circles dies. To me, this is like a staple in my studio. Um, I love them and I have left them on this card instead of switching them over to my magnetic cards because I have found, I, first of all, I don't have a square card to put them on a magnet card, but I have found that these circles go with these um, scalloped edges and these go with these. So I have left them like they are so I don't get messed up. Um, I do believe this is a must have if you do not have that already in your stash. So let's talk about my little card. Isn't it so cute? So the card lays flat so that you can mail it. Okay. And then it props up to a little easel. How many of y'all get a card and put it out on display? Mm hmm. Well, this way, this type of fold will allow it to have a good support base so it doesn't blow over when somebody walks by, um, but yet the recipient can see the message that you wish them a happier birthday. Love that. Now, how many of you would like to decorate the inside of your card? So remember, I told you I was intrigued by that die that was in the um in the die set, I have no idea what that is on my, who gets like weird, dirty things in their studio? And I had just cleaned this table off, so I have no idea where that came from. So we're gonna make this card together tonight. Um, I think that you're going to love it. Um, if you have not seen these papers, boy, hmm, uh, they're gorgeous, they are gorgeous. Kathy says she displays all of her cards. Yep, I, I do too. I mean, if you guys look behind me in the camera, then you will see lots and lots of um, cards on display. You all send me cards. My family gives me cards. So, okay. Um, oh, before I forget, I do have a free download for y'all tonight. Um, it will be available at 8 p.m. Central on my blog. It's not there yet, so don't go anywhere. Um, after the live is over, you can go to my blog, which is, um, the link is below the video. It's www.txstampin.com. And you can get this download because, again, this is a great reference for you to store um, in your binders or whatever for future use when you want to make this cute easel card. So I, uh, I wanted to remind you of that and I have some, I have something else to tell y'all after I show you how to make the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score and I'm using here, let's switch this over a little bit. I am using, I can't get that glare off from the light. I'm using the simply score because I'm doing several scores and I love this tool. So why not use it? I'm going to score at two inches and at four inches. So that gives me a little half inch area right here. Okay. Move this out of the way. Kathy Walton says, I laminate all your downloads and put them in a binder. Wow. Okay. So do you have like a laminating machine? Sue Craig says, I really appreciate your downloads. I have a three ring binder in which I place all of your downloads. Well, I'm so glad. And uh, Carrie B says, just use the Simply Scored board for making mini rosettes. Oh, that sounds pretty. I know it's it's a great tool. 
So I'm just using another tool. I'm just using a bone folder to give this a good crease for my easel card, okay? So I kind of did that kind of a fold. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, okay. So I have my Poppy Parade. I love this color red. I have my Poppy Parade card base. We have that already. And I have a piece of basic watch. I have two pieces of basic watch. I'm going to take one of them and we're going to grab. And you know, as I'm going through all the pieces that are here, I realized I forgot a piece. <laughs> it would not be alive with Sharon if I didn't forget something. Um, Lavina says, I have all the technique sessions cut and in my little binder. I need more inserts, but they are not available right now. Oh, Lavina, you've got to be kidding me. Have I, have we all depleted the page protectors from Stampin' Up! Stash? Oh my. Okay. I will check to see when they're going to be available because I have another class coming up. <laughs> Margaret says that they are shipping her Etsy order from Creative 8 tomorrow. Has anyone else been late getting their shipment? Margaret I will tell you why you've been late, why it's been late. Um, first of all, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to push that down. The bone folders from Stampin' Up! were on back order. So if your t-shirt had a bone folder in it, that's why. All right, so what we've done is that we have added this uh, gorgeous grape flap to our basic white cardstock. Okay, and now we are going to add this to our card base. Um, I, you know, Lavina, who would have thought that um, the technique class would have been such a hit, but it has been. Um, people have been loving it. And, you know, um, if you use the system that I use, which is using the, um, the albums from Stampin' Up! and those pocket page, photo page protectors or pockets. I think that's what they're called. I do not know what is on my stamp. Hold on. You know, I was using embossing powder earlier. Maybe that's what I've got going on. These things are great for cleaning up your studio tables, your craft areas. All right, so we have that going on. And then we're going to add our other basic white on the inside. Move this over. So I'm just adding this layer. Okay. Um, Debbie lives in Surprise, Arizona. The first time I drove through Surprise, Arizona, I was like, surprise! <laughs> I love that name. I think that's just a fun name for a town. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting layer. Genius duster idea. Absolutely, Miss Carrie. I'm going to use some gorgeous grape. And I'm going to stamp. Boy, that does not look like that fits. Oh, that's going to be tight. Y'all are going to see my head in the camera. Did I cut that wrong? Eh, probably. Probably, but we're fixing to find out. No, I think it's going to fit. It's tight. Teresa says it says the pages should be back in April. Oh, yikes. Oh, what am I going to do for March and April? That is a very tight stamped piece of paper, but I did it. So we're going to put that over there. I'm going to leave that right there because I will need it again. Um, so April, huh? Hmm. Well, you know, I it's all good, right? I'm just going to add this layer to my gorgeous grape layer. Um, you know, it's, we are so lucky that more things are not on back order or not available in the warehouse with all of the shipping issues going on in the world. Um, I'm just amazed at how, you know, things are still so backlogged. Of 
course, we are adding some dimensionals because I love dimensionals. But the main reason we need dimensionals on this layer, this is what is going to keep our easel popped, propped up. Okay, so we need that little bit of a lip right there. So we're going to take these off. I am using the take your pick tool. Um, there are many ways to get the backings off of those um, dimensionals. So at this point, you decide how far up do you want your easel. I'm going to just place it right here. That's a good... Okay, so <clears throat> that's what we have going on so far. I am going to add my layer of Poppy Parade. We're going to go ahead and do that. And when you're adding this, you only want adhesive on this portion right here. You do not want it on the top part, okay? Because then you'll glue the card shut and it won't be an easel card. That won't be fun. Um, um, yes, Kate, we are having trouble getting groceries too. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. So I've just kept my fingers there because I know I need adhesive on this part right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to lay this down and I'm just going to center it so that I have a good border around. I just think those colors look pretty together, don't y'all? Um, shelves are empty. I know it's crazy. And so, you know what? I've almost become a hoarder. You know, it's like, well, they've got it. I better go ahead and get it now while they have it. But I feel like, you know, if I pick up more than one, then that keeps somebody else from getting it. But sometimes, you know, it's like, huh, well, I kind of need some of this stuff and I know I'm going to need it again. Debbie Aldridge says, Sharon, I'm a fellow Texan born and raised and whoops, where'd you go? In Dallas and went to college in Texas too. That's awesome. I live in Kyle, Texas, which is south of Austin. All right, so now we're gonna do some stamping. And I um, I know, Kathy, in, in there, aren't the colors pretty? Gorgeous Grape and Poppy Parade. Okay, so we're gonna do some stamping. And remember at the beginning, I told you that I was using the layering circles dies. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna bring back in my gorgeous grape. Get that out of the way, cause I'll probably stick my hand in it. This is a two-step stamp. And I always like to hold that stamp there for just a few seconds to make sure that all that ink gets transferred onto the cardstock. Uh, Jan Ross says, you are pretty amazing, Sharon. I can chew gum and walk at the same time, but I really can't craft and talk at the same time. You're amazing. <laughs> well, I bought this big monitor right in front of me so that I can see your comments better. And that has helped. But boy, before when I was trying to squint on the little bitty um, laptop monitor. Okay, here we go. My head's probably in the camera. Sorry. Actually, it's not. I just realized my camera is over off to the side a little bit. So there we go. I mean, look at how those two images bring together such a pretty um, tulip. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and close this up. Debbie says she has been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 20 years. Congratulations. I am at 24, I'm going to say 24 and a half because that just sounds fun. You know, remember when you were kids, you said, I'm six and a half. Well, I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 24 and a half years. All right, so we're going to stamp our stem. And we have some leaves. There are actually two different leaves in this set. One is a little bit longer. And I don't know which is which way is up. I just do it the way I need the, the stem to go. Hello, Debbie Spicer. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. K 
Kathy has been a demonstrator for two years. That's awesome. Now, I think using a little bit of liquid glue is the best way to add this layer because it's it's pretty small, okay? The, the layer around is pretty small. So I'm gonna use the green glue, what my friend Jackie calls it. Um, it's just the multi-purpose liquid glue. And this way I have a little bit of wiggle room to move that around like that. Now you all know celebration is coming to an end. Celebration started in January and it ends the end of February. So celebration is a great time to stock up on free goodies. Um, whenever you shop for $50 increments, you get to pick out a free celebration item. Now I told you all a while ago, I forgot something. I got to go get it because we can't finish our card without it. It's the designer series paper. <laughs> You know, some days are like that. Um, I double check and double check. And I, I really think sometimes I may have a little ADD because it's like I get sidetracked by something else. And I just forgot to go back over and get, I mean, this paper is gorgeous. Is it not? I, you know, I almost, if I hadn't used the gorgeous grape, I think that pattern would be pretty with this card. But I've used the Gorgeous Grape, so we're going to stick to this pattern right here. And I think I know the measurement, but I want to double check. This is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. All right, so we need... Hello, Sandy Armstrong. I just noticed you were here. I'm going to say three and three quarters. Uh, I want to keep that gorgeous grape. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. So, see, I looked up. Should I should have just three and three quarters. So I need three and a half. Oh, I know. You have to have. <laughs> you have to have. Um, designer series paper that is we are showing off the, the designer series paper on this easel car so we have to have designer series paper but you know you guys are so patient with me and you knew that huh, it's not alive if i if i didn't do it right and i didn't cut that right what did i not do right two and three quarters i know i cut that at two and a half Um, two and a half. Nope, I didn't. Michelle Batson, um, do you see someone that needs to um, maybe not be with us tonight? <laughs> Sometimes we have un uninvited guests. Okay. We are going to add the designer series paper to this front. And we do need adhesive. This designer series paper is just so pretty. Um, and I mean, such bright colors, you know, and it's the dead of winter right now for most of us. So we need some, we need hope of spring. <laughs> so there you go. We've got our paper. We're going to pop that up again. And there's our easel card. Now we are going to add our little um, tulip. But we're going to we're going to add it off center so that we don't hide all of that pretty paper on that side. So again, just adhesive on the left, and I'm going to do this. And I am using the Seal Plus. If you don't prefer the Seal Plus, I would use liquid glue. You want a good strong adhesive to make sure that this does not come off as the recipient is opening the card. There we go. We did it. But we're not done. We want to do a little bit more decorating on the outside. So we're going to get, 
I'm going to use the um, Stampin' Blends. These are the alcohol um, markers. And you can't use the Stampin' Write markers. Those are water-based when you are coloring your jewels. You need the alcohol ones um, because otherwise, let's see, I want the dark. There's the dark. Um, otherwise, when you go to touch it, the uh, Stampin' Write markers will just wipe the color right off. So I'm just going to color three of these. And they are alcohol, but they do need a, a moment to dry before you touch them. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I have already cut out two pieces from that die that I told you about. And I don't want green flowers, right? That's not, that's not right. We don't want green flowers. And if you did it this way, I mean, it's, it's an option, you know, but we're just going to, we're going to get our pruning shears and we're just going to cut off all the green stems. And we're just going to go with purple stems because to cut the flowers would be a little bit more tedious. Now there, there may be some little nubbies. So um, because it is hard to get super close, I'm just gonna take my snips and I'm gonna purposely rough that up. Try not to stab yourself when you're doing this. <laughs> oh, Marilyn loves this, thank you. Um, Judy says, very nice to set the flower to the side a bit. That way the gorgeous DSP shows. That was my thought. I'm like, we can't cover that up with that big old circle. All right. So this is kind of a technique, guys, just roughing up the edge of your paper. And I did it because I had some little spikes going up. Okay. So now... You really, it doesn't stand out as much that there are greens or purple stems. Um, you know, if you want to be meticulous and, and cut off, let me grab it, cut off all the flowers and then line it up, you go right ahead. But I, no, that was not, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue, my liquid glue. This does kind of create a, gra a grass effect, Sue. So now I'm just going to add some liquid glue right here. And pick that up. And we're going to get, we want our little mound to be going the right way. So we're going to move this over. And whoops, we're still not going the right way. We may have cut, I may have cut it wrong. I probably did. It's all good. I want my flowers to go that way and I'm just going to come up and attach. It's all good. There we go. So now we're gonna open up our card and we're gonna use our liquid glue again. And I'm just going to kind of touch some of those tips of those flowers. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I am going to grab my sponge. And we're just going to add some glue to those flowers so that they don't get ripped when my recipient gets my card. Okay. So now we're just going to add this to the bottom. I get questions all the time about decorating the inside of the card. Sometimes it's not easy, but I thought this was a cool idea. So there you go. Okay, let's finish up this card. Okay, how many of y'all are going to make this easel card? Hmm? If you make this easel card, you know if you're on Facebook, you can share it on in my Stamping Friends. Let's see, TX Stampin', Sharon's. Stamping Friends, you can post your card there. Um, I do have a mystery stampers group. You can even post it over there. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just a way for you to share your version of my card. Um, so now I'm gonna take my colored rhinestones and let's see, yep, we're gonna put one right here and we're gonna put one right here. 
And then I want one on my circle. I put one right there. There you have it. Now, don't go anywhere yet because I got a little crazy playing with the tulips uh, stamp set. Look at those two fun cards. Perfect cards for display, right? Becky Wyatt says she will be making this card for sure. I'm so glad. And Kathy um, Amstutz, I plan to make this card. Looks beautiful. Okay, so those of you who love the tulips stamp set, um, I, I want to show you some other cards. Look at all these cards. <laughs> now, I told y'all that I have the free tutorial for you at 8 o'clock over on my blog. Okay, so that is a free tutorial. If you want more instructions to make other tulip cards like this fun fold, and it does open even more, okay, um, I have all of these as a, a tutorial on my blog. It will be in my tutorial store. There's that fun um, die again. I have been having fun. Okay, now this was really fun. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I did because this is actual watercolor paper. This is the fluid paper and stamp it and then spritz it and it kind of gives it a watercolored look. Look how fun that is. And how about this one? Super fun with those brass butterflies. And here's a sweet one from Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. We switched colors here. We went away from the gorgeous grape and we went with that other pattern that's in the designer series paper pack. And then how about this? A slimline card with the designer series paper. Stop it. Can you believe we did that? How fun is that? So you can get a tutorial with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Whoops, they're all off camera. Hold on. Let me pull them all back in. I will have this tutorial for sale, but again, you are getting this free tutorial for tonight's easel card. Um, but look at look at the colors. Look how pretty. Isn't that fun? Okay, what did y'all think? Ah, Judy says she loved them. All thank you so much. Thank you, Sandra. Um, Judy uh, Damp Dampkin says she loves them all. Sandra says she loves them. Um, Jan says, wondering if Stampin' Up is carrying a slim line envelope. Hmm. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but you can make one on my blog up in the search bar if you will search slimline cards i did a slimline card and i made an envelope i showed you how to make an envelope so there is a way um nancy says you're amazing as well as your cards thank you thank you guys so much so remember give me a thumbs up if you like this card and all these ideas that i shared with you tonight um i had a really fun time. I, some of you know, I've had a hard week, so I was looking forward to sharing my cards with y'all tonight. And I really appreciate it because it did lift my spirit. So I do appreciate that. Um, let's see. There is a slim kind, slim line card set in the mini, but there's no envelopes. Is there? Did I miss the envelopes? Hold on. Let's look. There is a slimline set. By the way, if you guys don't have this catalog, you can contact me below the video and request a catalog. I think I didn't go far enough. I send these catalogs for free. So I, you know, I'm, I've got to double check this because if I messed up, okay, so there are slimline bundles. But there's no envelope. Oh, there it is. The die makes the envelope. Stop it. 
I have this stamp set, but I didn't buy the dies. And now I know because now I know why I didn't know they were an envelope. So that does make an envelope. The there you go. Okay. See, you just learn something every day, right? <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right, guys. All right. Eight o'clock tonight over on my blog. You can find the link below the video um, if you're on a desktop or a um, laptop. Uh, if you're on a mobile device, you might have to do a little drop down arrow to get to my blog, but it is www.txstampin.com. So have a great evening, guys. I'll be back on Monday with Mystery Monday Stamping. And until then, happy stamping, y'all. <laughs>